Okay, anytime that you have a generator where you go to start it and it literally won't respond at all, it'll do nothing, it's going to either be a dead battery, a dead battery charger, which is one and the same. If those are both fine, then your problem is either going to be a corroded cable at the starter or it's something in this fuse box. So this is, this is our control panel for our EPS generators. And I'm cheating here. If you take it off, it looks like this. Right, so this is the back side. So down here at the bottom, first thing to do is put a test light right here or a meter right here. Or the, or the red, either one. This is what comes directly from the start. Oops. This is what comes directly from the starter. Um, if there's no power here, then you've got a cable off uh, at the starter, corroded off, broken off, and we'll get to that in a second. If it does have power, then that means your starter's good and you've got plenty of flow. The first thing to check is this little blade fuse. Oh. The 20 amp. This uh, little 20 amp blade fuse uh, right there. And a lot of times that'll be blown. Um, if that's good, if that's good. It's usually one of these relays. It's just a poor connection. You clean those pins and then it should start. Um, so now we'll go to in the event that you put a test or a meter onto these and there's no power coming from the starter. We'll, we'll hit that next. Okay, so in the event that there is no power uh, when you tested the back side of the panel, so our starter is dead. This is the front side of your generator. I'm cheating because I'm able to put the generator in the air, but if you get on the back side right here, there, there's your starter right here. And this right here, uh, come over here and shine the light. It's that same red that, wire. That's that same red wire that ends up on the panel that we just tested. So this cable, this cable right here comes directly from the battery to the starter. And then this is what goes to your control box. So the first thing to check is to make sure that this isn't corroded off and, and it's contact there. So if your test light is dead, start right here. If that is good and solid and there's power, then the next thing to check is what they call a maxi fuse. Um, this uh, is a 50 amp maxi fuse. This is the, the main fuse that goes uh, to the brain. So check that out uh, as well. Um, and between those three things, you will find your problem.